How are you? I'm pretty good. It's always great to talk with you. How you been? Oh, you too. I've been doing good. Have you been doing? Uh, good. Trying to stay away from as many people as possible, but still trying to live a, a fulfilled Same life. Here, it's kind of hard to do in our business, ain't it? <laughs> it is. Yeah. You know, and I'm, I'm reading about you. You're doing all kinds of stuff right now. The yeah, Holly but Dolly. I'm doing, it, I'm doing it safely and smartly. <laughs> and that's what I was going to ask because the, the Holly Dolly Christmas, it, it's out now, the album, but it's you and Jimmy Fallon doing, you know, All I Want for Christmas is You. Did you guys do this in the same spot or did you record it separately? No, we recorded it separately. We did, you know, just like uh, all the other people, they did it from their little studios, our engineers, you know, communicate with each other and their engineers. And so we did all of this whole album uh, pretty much, uh, you know, by. Uh, all the technical stuff, but no, we couldn't all get get together doing all that. But it's wonderful. I'll tell you, there's a lot to be said about technology these days, right? Where are you recording? Is there a studio near your house? Do you have one in your house, or, or do you? Well, just... I have both. Uh, I have a studio always in my office downtown, along with all. It's my publishing company, a studio, and all that. So I did a lot of my work there. Kent Wells who uh, lives down the street from me, uh, you know, he has his own studio. And so we worked, when we all worked, mostly Kent and I, he produced it and, uh, you know, got pulled a lot of that stuff together with the other artists as well. But it was just the engineer, Kent and me, for the most part. And then, you know, different musicians would put their parts on. And uh, so it just... And the, when we had the background vocals, they all had their own private booths and their own mask and their gloves and, uh, you know, all that. So it was kind of funny. We got a kick out of seeing how, uh, you know, how we pulled all of it together. But it sounds like we were all right there at the same time. Same with Willie. You know, Willie did his in Austin, of course, in his studio and played his guitar. And, uh, you know, so it was it was a, an unusual way of doing it. But it sounds like... Uh, like we were all right there, like any other session. Did you have to do it in like June or July when it, and it's not Christmas at all and you have to somehow make yourself feel holly and jolly? Yeah, actually, uh, I, every album that I've ever done, like when I worked with Kenny Rogers on our um, our Christmas album years ago, we decorated the whole studio, like Christmas trees and everything. we bring each other presents, little presents every day, wrapped up. <laughs> And we turned the air conditioner down to real cold, and so to make it feel like Christmas, we had snow in the studio. But anyway, uh, same thing with this. I would wear my Christmas colors, red, white, or green, uh, you know, to the studio when I was when I was doing, you know, some of my vocals. So we're just trying to make it feel as Christmassy as we could. But yeah, you always have to do your Christmas albums in in June, July, in order to get them prepped and ready for a fall release and marketing. It's October now. When will you start to decorate your house for Christmas? And, you know, how big do you do it? Oh, I do big Christmas. Christmas is my favorite. But I do every season, you know, every holiday. Whether it's, I'm, I'm decorated now for Halloween and fall at my houses. But I, we decorate uh, Christmas the day after Thanksgiving. We take all the fall decorations out of all the houses, all the places that I have around. And we we put up start putting up all our Christmas decorations and I leave them up till after my birthday, January nineteenth. <laughs> I celebrate Christmas from Thanksgiving till my birthday. <laughs> Dolly Parton's on with us right now. Her album A Holly Dolly Christmas is out now. You know, I'm on TikTok a lot, and a lot of kids are now being introduced to your music through I saw the nine to five challenge on TikTok. Have you seen that at all? And if not, I'll explain it to you. I've seen, yeah. Well, you have to explain a lot of technical stuff to me, but yeah, I've seen it all. I've got, I've got a great crew that always, you know, keeps me aware and also keeps me very involved and and all that. But yeah, I've got all these little nieces and nephews that love me that are all into all of that stuff. So they're they're all excited that that I'm. You know, all part of that whole thing. So that's all great. I don't know how I've lasted this long and why I'm still, while they act like I'm still important, but it makes me feel good. The <laughs> nine to five challenge is these kids, and what they'll do, Eddie, is that they'll tumble out of bed and stumble into the kitchen, and it's, it's just like they're <laughs> barely making it. They're falling out and stumbling. It's really funny, but again, you're seeing, you know, 12, 13, 15 year olds re just introduced to Dolly again. It's amazing. I know. I have my little nieces are just that age, and you know they're always so excited, and they all love doing all that. But I'm just so touched with that. I think I've just been around so long. I've just brought it all back around. Like my fans, they had kids, and they introduced them. Now they're having kids, their grandkids. So and with working with Miley on 
Hannah Montana, I think, really opened up that that world of young kids to me at that time. And so I've just kind of rolled with it the whole time. And then working with the Imagination Library with kids, my name kind of is out there and kind of attached to, you know, to children, which I love. I just think it's great that I can still be here at this age and been around. I think they all look at me kind of like an aunt, like a family member, you know, that sort of thing. You have a new Netflix movie coming out, Christmas on the Square, and here's the the description for everybody. Um, An embittered Scrooge of a woman plans to sell her small town, regardless of the consequences, to the people who live there. Now, you star as an angel. Are you playing a real angel or someone named Angel? (laughs) Well, my name is Angel, and I'm playing Angel. Now, I'm certainly no angel, but I'm playing one on TV, as they say. But I'm a feisty angel. I'm actually, uh, I've been sent to, uh, you know, to kind of, show this woman the error of her ways and so it's really a fun thing i'm real gaudy and flashy but i'm a homeless woman at at one point as an angel so i've kind of come as different you know kind of things but there it's all fun and uplifting and i wrote all the music for it and so i'm acting in it and it's a it's a true musical and debbie allen uh choreographed and directed it and Christine Berensky uh, is playing the old Scrooge of a Woman, but she did great. We have uh, Treat Williams, who played you know, one of the male leads. So we've got a wonderful, wonderful cast. And uh, so we're very excited about it. But my, my angel part, she's very, very gaudy, glitzy, but she's got a good message, and she does it in a fun way. Dolly becomes the first country artist to, cha- uh, to chart a top 20 Billboard single seven consecutive decades. 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010s, and 2020s. What would you tell 16-year-old Dolly Parton right now? Oh, I'd just say, girl, you better buckle up. You're in for the ride of your life. It's going to have its ups and it's going to have its downs, and it's going to be mostly up. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, uh, before I let you go, I, I was going to ask if you saw the clip of the two teenagers who went viral after listening to Jolene for the very first time ever. Did you happen to see that? Because, I mean, it was massive all over the Internet. It was. That's another thing. All my nieces and nephews, they they follow me. They make sure they show me everything. They get so excited. But, yeah, they did show me that. And I was real impressed with that. That made me feel good because that was back, what, 40 years ago. That was the original Jolene that they were listening to. And that was now that they were hearing it. So that made me feel real good as a songwriter and, you know, as a as a singer. So that's, uh, that's always such a you know, I take a lot of pride in it. It's humbling. I don't take it for granted, but it's I'm always just amazed at those kind of things. And I'm still around, and it seems to matter, and I hope to always be around. I hope to always matter. I always say that I'm as old as yesterday and as new tomorrow, as new as tomorrow, and I hope to keep that attitude. Final question. With Christmas coming up, and you have a Christmas album, or we're doing Christmas movies, do your friends and family still buy you Christmas gifts? I'm assuming so, but what in the world do they get somebody who has everything? to carry it in <laughs> so so seriously they buy me purses tote bags stuff like that and makeup uh you know costume jewelry i'm the easiest pers- person to buy for because i'm not high class in any way i prefer like a lot of great costume jewelry bangles spangles big earrings gaudy stuff that don't cost a lot of money and i'm always getting you know i'm always carrying my stuff around you know in bags you know, the tote bags back and forth to my office, back and forth to the studio, back and forth to my houses. So I get a lot of uh, a lot of bags and jewelry, makeup. Well, Dolly, we love you. I hope everybody checks out a Holly Dolly Christmas, and then on Netflix, and uh, you're everywhere, and it's amazing. And you are the most universally beloved figure I've ever in my whole life. You are the most universally beloved person I've ever seen. It's crazy and awesome and. Aww. Yeah. Well, that makes me feel good. You know, we never did say what the name of that Netflix was. That mo- that Christmas musical is called Christmas on the Square. Uh, that's coming up on Netflix on the 22nd of November. Of November. But thank you for that compliment. I, you know, I've been around, like I said, I've been around so long. I guess people, hopefully they love me like a family member because that's how I feel. The whole world is my family, and I just try to love everybody and every individual personality. I just love the you know the god soul and everybody so hopefully i'll be around a long time past this christmas if we make it through december <laughs> i agree said it in one of his songs if we make it through december maybe we'll be fine i agree well so, dolly I, thank you love you and um we'll talk to you soon okay 
And by the way, I just want you to know how proud we all are of you doing all the things that you do. We love watching you. We love hearing you. And we just love you. I think you're, if you say I'm loved, I think you're equally as loved. No chance, but I appreciate the compliment, Dolly. <laughs> Have a good okay. day, Dolly. Love you. See you Thank later. You. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. There she is, Dolly Parton. Always great to talk with her.